What is jealousy? Does our jealousy show that we are very far from aloneness? The society has exploited the individual in so many ways that it is almost impossible to believe. It has created devices so clever and cunning that even to detect that there are devices to exploit the individual, to destroy his integrity, to take away from him all that he has got, and without even creating a suspicion in him, even a doubt that what is being done to him. Jealousy is one of those tremendously powerful devices From the very childhood, every society, every culture, every religion teaches everybody comparison. And the child is bound to learn. He is just a tabula rasa, a blank paper without any writing. So whatsoever the parents, the teachers, the priests write on him, he starts believing that it is his destiny. It is his fate. Man comes in existence with all the doors open. All the directions available. All the dimensions are for him to choose, but before he can choose, before he can be, before he can even feel his being, he is spoiled. Jealousy is one of the greatest devices. Look at it very closely, what it means. It means live in comparison. Somebody is higher than you. Somebody is lower than you. You are always somewhere in a middle rung on the ladder. Perhaps the ladder is a circle, because nobody finds the end of the ladder. Everybody is somewhere stuck 
in the middle. Everybody in the middle. Ladder seems to be a round wheel. Somebody is our view that hurts. That keeps you fighting, struggling, moving by any means possible because nobody cares if you succeed, whether you have succeeded rightly or wrongly. Success proves that you are right. Failure proves that you are wrong. So all that matters is success. So any means will do. The end proves the means right. So you need not bother about means and nobody bothers. The whole question is how to go on up the ladder. But you never come to the end of it. And whosoever is above you is creating jealousy in you that he has succeeded and you have failed. One would think that whole life passing from one ladder to another ladder, always finding somebody is still ahead of you. Can't you simply jump out of the ladder? No, you cannot jump. The society is very cunning, very clever. It has polished, refined its methods in thousands of years. Why you cannot get out of the circle? Because somebody is below you. That gives you tremendous satisfaction. Certainly, if you go on in this way, being jealous and competitive of everybody around you, how can you come to yourself? The world is too big and there are so many people. And if you are in competition with everybody, and you are, Somebody has a beautiful face, somebody has beautiful hair, somebody has a beautiful proportionate body, somebody has a great intellect, somebody is a painter, somebody is a poet. How you are going to manage all this and you alone to compete? You will just drive yourself nuts. And that's what the whole humanity has done. Drop competition, drop jealousy. It is absolutely pointless. It is absolutely a cunning device created by the priests so that you can never be yourself, because that is the only fear all the old religions are afraid of. If you are yourself, you have found contentment, fulfillment, ecstasy.